What do the layoffs at Nike and Intel have to do with Portland's real estate market now and in the future? Drop a comment below. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are about the overall job market in Portland and what sort of impact that's going to have on Portland's real estate prices. Talking about Portland's real estate prices, prices remain pretty resilient in the face of relatively high, persistently high interest rates. And by that, what I mean is last year during June, the average 30 year fixed rate mortgage around the US, according to Mortgage News Daily and the Mortgage Bankers Association, was between about six and three quarters up to about seven and an eighth. This year during June, it was right around 7% to seven and an eighth. So that really hasn't changed in comparison with last June. The average single family sales price this June in comparison with last June is pretty much unchanged, you know, for all intents and purposes. So that hasn't had a big impact on buyers ability to buy a home. What has changed is not the time on market. The time on market is right in the middle of what has been averaged during the time period 2016 through 2023 at 33 days before sellers accepted offers for their single family homes up for sale in Portland. So there's a whole lot of the same thing going on in comparison with last year. And last year was what I would call historically horribly sluggish. The reason why, as probably everybody knows by now, is that because of high interest rates, would be home sellers are not putting their homes up for sale because why would they make a move that they don't have to? And I'm not talking about people who have to make a move because they got transferred for work or they're at a point in life where they really want to make a move to be near family and friends out of state. I'm talking about people who want to upsize or downsize, move from Beaverton to Northeast Portland or whatever the case might be, move from Beaverton to Lake Oswego. Now talking about people who don't have to make a move, why would they make a move if they don't have to, if they have a loan on their current house? They might have a rate of 3%, 3.5%, 4%. The statistic overall is that approximately, and I'm going on memory, about 85% of homeowners who have a loan on their house have a rate of 5% or less. Rates right now are 7, 7 and an eighth. So a lot of people are not choosing to put their houses up for sale if they don't have to. The number of new listings during the first half through the end of June of this year, in comparison with last year, the number of new listings coming onto the market is about the same. It's down a tiny bit. The sales volume is down distinctly from last year for that same time period. And so that leads to the question, are homes sitting on the market? That is reflected in this chart. The time on market before sellers accepted offers was at 33 days in June. That is in line with historical norms. The average during 2016 through 2023 was 27 days. It's right in the middle of what has been averaged. So it's not taking a whole long time and it's not taking a lot longer for home sellers to get their homes sold. It really is just a repeat for the most part of last year so far this year. As you can see from the map, all around the Portland area, prices generally are up a tiny bit from last year. There's some changes in some towns in comparison with others, but keep in mind that the distribution, the composition that is of what sold, that is, did predominantly more higher priced homes sell this month in, in this year, June of this year, in comparison with last June, or did a lot more average priced homes sell that has a bigger influence on the percentage change when the sales volume is so low in comparison with historical norms. I'm John McPherson. Call me anytime if you're thinking about making a move or you want to talk about Portland's real estate market. Call me anytime.